The 2019 New York International Auto Show has its usual mix of world and North American debuts. The most significant and of relevance to us were the small SUV, the Hyundai Venue, and the very large one, the Mercedes-Benz GLS. Now the second generation GLS had also debuted in New York in 2012, and now we have the third gen. The new car is wider, longer, and offers more cabin space than the last one. It also gets the latest from Mercedes including e-active body control with an adaptive air suspension, the latest MBUX interface and touchscreen, and that goes without saying. And that third row looks way more comfortable now. The brand also showed us the facelifted GLC Coupe after the regular GLC facelift was revealed last month in Geneva. You have already seen the Hyundai Venue getting revealed in India and it is certainly getting a lot of attention here in New York too. This sub 4 meter SUV is finding appeal even in America, where too now buyers are increasingly looking for more compact cars. Certainly the car that's getting all the attention from our perspective, the venue is extremely important and a gentleman we've seen before on the show, Mr. Sang Yuk Lee is uh, the man who heads the design for these cars, also the Santro, remember that's the last time we spoke with him, good to exactly. see you. Good to see you, how are you? I am good, how are you? Good, thank you. Great reception I think, there's a lot of conversation happening around this car mm -hmm. and uh, with good reason. The fact that you've done such a compact SUV, it's not just for one market or two markets but you know even here in the US, it's getting so much attention. Um, when you started off on a blank sheet of paper, what was the, the one clear direction for you? I must say this is one of the biggest challenge because uh, this car uh, launches here in the US, but actually this car is a very, very important for Indian market. It's less than four meter, the SUV is becoming a mainstream, but a really important vehicle for us in the Indian market, obviously. So. Uh, we really have to um, the analyze, understand the customer in India, here in the US, mm. and uh, start to find the uh, commonality in between. Obviously, one strong commonality is uh, SUV becoming a mainstream, obviously, and uh, having an SUV uh, also customer with a lot of character. Here in the US, obviously, you look at the car, it has to have a character. And obviously, at the same time, if you actually take a look at um, the Indian, the market, the customer, the uh, in a way, it's a little bit extrovert yep. with a lot of uh, textures and graphics and everything. So having those two common elements actually really try to apply into this vehicle. Uh, it's a challenging, but uh, without a challenging design, it's not that fun. It's not fun. <laughs> yeah, I knew you'll say that. The, the LED element up front, the, the front grille, it's immediately evocative and, and what you said gets you that sense of presence right away. Exactly. Uh, it's a small SUV, uh, but small SUV doesn't mean to have a small weak face. Yeah. We really want to have a strong face. You can really recognize easily from long, long distance. So if you, if you take a look at it, a uh, distinctive cascading grill with the, uh, the pattern, grill pattern, is so unique, almost like you instantly recognize what the yeah. character is. Obviously, Hyundai main design character, composite lamp lamp and the ton separated but we really like to actually adding a lamp drl to be another unique the feature to it so we have a nice frame around it so you can really instantly recognize once again from long distance for us is that this the drl character is so important uh, these days in design even though it's actually the functional element but when car comes at you from long distance first thing that you look at it it's not a bumper, it's not the grill, it's a DRL character. Like so a signature. We, exactly. So we want to have a strong character uh, on the venue from long, long distance with using a, a, a signature DRL character. The new 8th generation Hyundai Sonata has also debuted at New York. There is no word on whether or not India will get this car, though it seems unlikely. A pronounced coupe silhouette and very unusual DRLs that run up the hood are prominent features of what Hyundai is calling its sensuous sportiness design. Hyundai's premium brand Genesis surprised New York with this. 
द मिंट कॉन्सेप्ट का With the mint concept, the whole idea here for Genesis is also what's happening with a lot of premium brands, where uh, the idea is to go more compact because that's where the market's shifting. That's where a lot of the people are looking to stay premium and yet be practical. Small city car like that, which could be electrically driven and which would still bring in a different kind of an audience, seems to go right to the heart of where the market is shifting as well. The mint uses a similar platform as the Hyundai Veloster. and most significantly also indicates where genesis design is going the american brands were as usual showing off their very best be it the pickups suvs or their muscle cars and there were also some new cars like the Lincoln Corsair compact SUV the Cadillac CT5 sedan or indeed Ford's new Escape compact SUV but it is this special display that Cadillac dedicated to its historical use of the tail fin in its cars that gets my attention The first tail fin appeared in 1948 and besides the small model display showing the various cars to use it over the years also on display in its full regal splendor is this 1959 Eldorado Biarritz convertible sitting high above all other cars Volkswagen is showing off the R design line of its SUVs the one we care about is the Tiguan though and here's why So you heard it here first. This is new exclusive information that we've just received about the Volkswagen Tiguan. Now, in some markets, this car is called the All Space, in others it's called the Long Wheelbase Tiguan. Here in the US, just Tiguan because this is the only one they get. But yes, this is the extended wheelbase. So it's larger than the car that we have in India, which is of course the two-row car. Now, that's pretty much like the Kodiak from Škoda. Yes, the two cars share a lot, and so that's the whole idea of bringing in this larger 3 row version to india nissan has a special connection to new york always choosing it to toast the legendary gtr its 50th anniversary edition debuts here in blue but also on display are some of its previous generations and this so it is kind of fitting to have this car here as well given that this whole 50th anniversary theme kind of dominates the Nissan stand. Now, it's not a concept car if you haven't seen it before. This is what Nissan showed at Goodwood last year. Ital Designs tribute to the 50 years of the GTR and 50 of these will be made and sold at a price you don't want to know about. The part you do want to know is 720 horses under that hood. Nissan is also celebrating 50 years of the 370Z with the Datsun 240Z from 1969 standing next to the current car. Rivian is also getting so much interest worldwide. The Amazon-backed electric SUV maker sure is getting attention here too for its R1S SUV and R1T pickup truck. Jaguar Land Rover may have brought its XC sedan to New York with an updated interior. The stand clearly belongs to the triple winner, the I-Pace. Mm -hmm.